So, upon uh, further inspection, we're going to take a look at the TI card and the differences between the GTX 980 that I have and the TI card that I don't want to give back, but I'm going to have to, uh, the difference between the two. On Passmark, it's scoring its top of the high-end video cards list. It's scoring 11,555. Um, beneath that is the is the Titan X on 11,000, then the Quadro M6000, and then my GTX 980 on 9,748. So there's a sizable jump between the two on pass mark, uh, even though the price is a bit of a jump as well. But it is top it's top scoring. Um, the difference in spec between the two cards, obviously the the GTX 980 Ti has a, is a six gigabyte card, and the 980 on its own is a four gig. So there's a fifty percent increase in memory. So I'm expecting some very good frames, extra frames, extra performance from the TI card in comparison to the 980 card. Uh, as I just mentioned, there's about 20% difference in the pass mark. The TI performed 20, around about 20% better when it comes to, to that. Uh, there's more than 20% better floating point performance. G flops, 5,632 to, to 4,616. Um, there's significantly more render output processors. Uh, the 980's got 64 and the Ti has got 96, so it's 32 more there. So it's quite a bit. It's a bit of a jump, and there's 768 more uh, shading units on the Ti card than there is on the 980, and 48 more texture mapping units. So I'm, I'm expecting it not necessarily to be a major jump in FPS between the two cards. I'm expecting the the Ti card with the higher the higher memory and the uh, and the slightly higher spec when it comes to the shading and the uh, render output processes to handle 4K slightly better than the 980 card, which if it does is going to put me in a bit of a position of whether I'm going to shell out some money and uh, upgrade from the 980 to the Ti. Price wise, I mean I've had a look on Amazon and the Ti card is about £513 to about 550 depending on who you buy it from. The 980 card, when I purchased it, was uh, was about five four hundred eighty pound. I think around about that sort of mark. It's dropped down about hundred pounds, about three eighty on Amazon, which you'd expect when a newer card comes out. It just kind of pushes everything down, really. So, bit of a bit of a jump in price, but uh, hopefully that'll reflect in in the performance itself. And we will now take a look at how the cards perform on uh, a bench test. I'll do a TI card bench press, uh, bench test to begin with. Uh, it's a 3D Mark one, and then we'll swap to the GTX 980 and see how that performs and have a bit of comparison and see if on the pass mark they do differentiate quite a lot as, uh, as the websites uh, do suggest. I'll put a link in the description to the Passmark website so you can have a look for yourself to see the difference in cards and how they're scored and bits and pieces like that so uh, we'll see how the uh, bench press bench press bench test benchmark test goes so here we are we're going to do a bench test on the GTX 980 Ti um, I've downloaded 3D Mark to do some bench test we're picking Firestrike because for high performance gaming PCs, so we'll give that one a go and we'll see how we perform. Um, I'm not too sure how long this is going to be. I may cut it a bit short. Um, I think it's running in 1080p, yeah, because it's got uh, you pick part of the screen up. Um, we'll let it run for a bit, and if not, I'll show you the results page at the end so you can see what it is, and then we'll do a contrast between this and the G six nine eighty. Any time today would be nice. So we're doing the fire strike bench test here. Let's see what sort of results we get. I may cut cut to the end if it's going to be quite a long bench test. I haven't actually run this yet, so I'm not too sure how long it's going to be, but we'll see what we get. Uh, top left is your FPS, 58, 50, fluctuating quite a bit. We'll see what we get.
this software is actually free, you can download it from 3D Mark. I did download it through Steam and just downloaded the demo version. I'm not too sure it's going to let me do it in 4K because I think you've got to pay to use it, so we'll see how we get on. Quite consistent, 25, 26 FPS at the moment. It's not juddering, it's quite smooth. There's quite a lot going on as well, to be fair. Yeah, this is the second part of the uh, bench test. There doesn't appear to be any sound, it's literally just scrolling through and we're hitting a solid 70 and have been throughout floating up to 80 here and there. Also, I'm not too sure how many of these there is to do. This is the Fire Strike Graphics Test number 2. So we're loading up the combined test now. I'm just going to go through some of the stats of the unit just so you don't get too bored. Uh, the difference between the two cards, obviously, the GTX 980Ti has 50% more memory. It has around a 20% better pass mark score. Uh, the Ti scores 11,555 and the 980 scores 9,748. The Ti is actually is top of, uh, of on the pass mark website, so you can take a look at that. It has around a 35% higher pixel rate and there is uh, 32 more render output processors, 48 more texture mapping units and it's more than 25% better on PassMark Direct computer score. So as you would expect there's going to be around about a 20% maybe give or take a little bit more on uh, FPS when we're gaming and it should be able to handle 4K slightly better as well. Uh, let's have a look. Okay, so the score for this we got 10,566. Better than 88% of uh, other results. Not too sure how that fares. Uh, number of cards won. Yes, yeah, so you can see here we are testing the GeForce G690 Ti just to prove. It's a 6 gig card, standard clocks. Date, um, driver version, it's all there, and it just lists here. I don't know how much for how much effect this has, but yes, this is my processor, speed, general RAM, bits and pieces. So there you have it. What we'll do now is we will go back to the GTX 980 and we'll do the same test and uh, see how we fare. But I just remember 10,566 on the GTX 980 Ti. We'll go and do this on the GTX 980 and see how they compare with each other. Okay, welcome back. We are back on the Alienware again, but this time I have got the GTX 980 installed, not the TI. And I am very, very pleased to announce that there was no faff of any driver installations or anything like that. It literally picks up the same, on the same... Uh, software now, the same driver, it picks up the GTX 980 and the TI, so we're currently running on the 980 here, and as before, we're going to run the Firestrike 3D Mark bench test as we did on the TI and see the difference between the two. Um, 
hopefully we're going to see the, the contrast between the two cards. I mean, 15 to 20 percent less. I will cut cut sh cut scenes because it is quite a long test. Um, but yeah, as as expecting, hopefully we're going to hit around about 20 percent less. Maybe not too much of a gap, but we'll see how we get on. Okay, so this is literally the start of the first test, as before. into seeing if I can do it in 4k but uh, I think like I said it's a paid option and I'm not too keen on paying for it to honest to do a couple of tests so this is the third graphics test uh, third of third three out of three um, I'm not I've decided to, to shoot this with my phone visually on, onto the screen instead of trying to use any sort of uh, capturing software because I don't want it to impair on the, the test. I want it to be as uninterfered with as possible. Okay, so that should be it pretty much done now, the physics test. And then I think there's a combined overall test to which then it scores everything up together and gives us a final final score. So this is the fifth combined test where it just kind of throws it all together and gives us an overall score. I mean, at 15, 16, 17 FPS at the moment. It was slightly less than what it was on the TI, which is to be expected. Um, I'm intrigued now. Come on, what we got? Okay. Okay, so it's not too bad. 9,945. I think we're about 10.5 on the TI card. As you can see, this is the GTX 980. 78% um, better. Better than 78% of all results. The TI was 88%, so there's about 10% between the two cards on overall. Uh, this one obviously is the 4 gig 980, and the other one was the 6. Slight different clock speeds, and it's been performed on the same laptops before the i7 2.5 uh, 16 gig of RAM so yep there we have it slight difference between the two cards um, after seeing this the the price difference between the two just seems a bit unnecessary really I mean I if, if I was choosing one obviously I'd probably pay the bit extra and get the TI but I wouldn't swap an upgrade from the from the 980 especially with the scores being as close as they are there's only about six six hundred and something between them so not a very big jump at all, really. 